Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I am Alex and here we are in United States in my War Story uh, Connecticut studio and uh, here we can show you some things I bought uh, last two weeks but it was too hard to collect all these items in a uh, few places because I approximately half year uh, asked guys to send items from uh, their collections to another person, to my friends in the United States. And Night Fighters that um, has to intercept uh, British and American uh, bombers based on this airfield also. Uh, this one is a um, fighting knife, Luftwaffe fighting knife, Luftwaffe boot knife uh, with a Luftwaffe stamp here. We can see it clearly, number six. Uh, we can see and guys who, who was with this knife who worn it, uh, they sometimes have this beach because it's uh, ground uh, assault beaches. And here we can see the mark, the mark um, knife, the mark fighting knife for First World War. And uh, here we can see stamp, uh, Kaiser period stamp on the blade. And uh, also maker mark two. Uh, and here we can find two um, fireman daggers. It's uh, in white metal and uh, in a gold. Uh, so this one is cut like horn with two squirrels and we can see this uh, here insignia uh, classic one and this one uh, has a stuck grip you can see it it's like a horn horn grip and um, wkc maker mark and um, i excited i love to find it and i'm happy with uh, both these items because it's like a complete complete from two uh, pieces Here's a special edition for forestry, special edition forestry uh, daggers because uh, here we can see eagle, small eagle with swastika and most of them has not um, any eagles because it was like unpolitical or stuff like that. But this one made by Tiger and uh, it has this uh, very impressive piece on the handle. and. Uh, Every time if you see items with swastika, it's, it costs much more because uh, everybody wants to show that they have uh, items if from uh, Nazi period, not before or not after the war. Uh, so that's why um, items with swastika is more valuable, um, if I say it correctly. Uh, here we can see one more. Uh, minty dagger, one more minty SA dagger. It's with uh, original cross grain and uh, everything fine with it. And it's uh, really hard to find it online. You know, uh, most of uh, items uh, you can't see uh, its trades and um, and sells without internet viewing. You know, without any pictures. From uh, it goes from collector to collector, like uh, under the table, something like that. And uh, this one is just. Uh, simple uh, Japanese one. Uh, this one is DLV. It's like uh, Deutsche Luftsport. And here we can see two uh, nickel silver daggers. Uh, nickel silver officer Luftwaffe daggers first model. And look at uh, this uh, chain. You can see difference. This one is early, you know, um, because it's the same chain you can uh, find on DLV daggers. So it's like interesting moment on this one and um, I'd love um, like heavy metal daggers it's it calls in Russian uh, daggers and nickel silver a little bit more than uh, from uh, uh, 
uh, thing, but uh, I'd like all daggers, so <laughs> I can't lie, I'd, I'd like all, the, all of them. Uh. Haube here and uh, beautiful uh, butcher knife Mauser 98 uh, slash 05 and here we can see oh oh look at me hey um, and here we can see uh, that amazing piece this is uh, that um, sword I shown you uh, before so I bought it and uh, this one is really nice. I have to uh, put it in video in uh, just a separate video because it's unbelievable um, detail. It's very nice condition. It's it's condition like never uh, never used after worn in uh, the start of 20th century. You know uh, because it has been presented in 1900 from since that time. It looks like it never worn um, and here we can see beautiful gluing and gilding and uh, Damascus blade and it was uh, hard to see it uh, on that video but here we can see it clearly and a lot of officers signed this um, this sort for for the officer for the retired officer and uh, top of them is um, just uh, chief commander of uh, that uh, regiment and uh, a lot of officers from uh, officer corps signed here on the blade but it looks great looks very nice and uh, you know for uh oh it's like my monster drink for I'm fighting with uh, jet lag and and here we can see uh -huh. One more part of uh, extremely nice detail and look at uh, this uh, helmet because it's uh, made more like sh high shape or <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And uh, every part of this line and special kind of line um, has been hand detail, you know, and uh, this is quite big. <laughs> my hand it's like a child hand with uh, this handle uh, here on the bottom we can see SS uh, Dagen original SS nickel silver Dagen with uh, original SS portipi and look at that if, if we open it uh oh what can it be? we can see the here original cap it uh, has never uh, been a part and I'd love nickel silver one because uh, it's really nice and beautiful and uh, looks more, I don't know how to say it, more uh, antiques, you know. <laughs> and here we can see one more uh, dagger. This one is early one and uh, looks really nice. DRK, it's like um, German Red Cross and uh, German Red Cross buckle. Here I know that it should be um, ring one, but here I just put enlisted man buckle with uh, officer's buckle just for to show it how it looks like. Uh, this one in full complete with uh, hangers, with <laughs> dagger with portapi and with uh, nice cupboards and uh, DRK. Uh, insignia, cap insignia, so it looks really nice. Uh, on the bottom we can find uh, some more interesting items, it's forestry uh, daggers, this one is tiger one, is very rare and uh, those two are carlycorn and uh, it's like uh, in catalog three pieces but I sh already showed it uh, to you. Several more um, 
DR key. Uh, just guys asked me to find it for them, so I did. And a uh, couple of uh, LED daggers. So, and this one made by Tsing. Um, few bayonets, if you're interested in to see uh, by engraved bayonets, so I can show you some more. Uh, this one has uh, Luftwaffe Eagle with uh, is Messerschmitt here over the city and uh, this is one more special item it's uh, Robert class with uh, special engraved with eagle with helmet and uh, with a sign in the remembrance of uh, service so it's also really nice Here we can see Luftwaffe swords, uh, army swords, Kriegsmarine sword. Uh, one sword from Kaiserlich Marine officer, um, one justice and uh, one police mm, dagen for uh, enlisted men. You can see it because there is no wire here and there is no uh, like crown. Mm, several special, we can see several special items like this it's like a Heller uh, Heller model uh, 21 this is very rare pieces and uh, uh, this one is um, really expensive it cost more than two thousand more than three thousand sometimes so this is really nice piece and uh, quite rare if you have it and uh, you do not know value you are lucky guy you know uh, this one is uh, Prince Eugen. Is uh, this is uh, Prince Eugen Field Marshal Series uh, swords, Field Marshal Series pattern. And uh, look at that. We can see here. We can see here squirrel uh, with the head over the shoulder. And this one made from 1941. So this one made uh, during the war. Uh, a few more interesting swords we can see here. Uh, several um, Kriegsmarine as I told and Kaiserlich Marine here. And um, one more interesting sword here. The, this is uh, Art Deco uh, sword uh, made by uh, Herder. So Herder, uh, only maker who made uh, this uh, type of um, hilt. So it's really nice, really nice piece with burnishing. Uh, you can see how it, uh, <laughs> how it burn, <laughs> how it like, like like fire gilding, you know. And uh, this one is really nice and also really valuable. You can't can't find a lot of them. Uh, this one is uh, minty. Uh, blade with uh, tag but uh, you can't see any uh, any scratches or damages and uh, you can see here extra stamps you can see it number five with number and uh, here also the same number and same uh, stamp this is a Luftwaffe inspection stamp and here one more stamp uh, we can see and uh, this is not about the end <laughs> one more stamp here we can see also 302 and uh, Luftwaffe inspection stamp and one more stamp on the blade uh, usually only blade has stamps and um, we can see stamps on the blade often but not on other parts so that's very interesting why uh, this sword uh, has all these stamps it's like sample item probably uh, so I have to research but it's very expensive just because of condition because condition is awesome condition is uh, is great it has never been a part and uh, it has all uh, original paint and um, I proud I found this item too, so it's it's amazing piece I'd like it very much and uh, here one here we can see a special handle this is a hanger for uh, this sword you can see over the shoulder uh, strap and um, hanger uh, made special for uh, 
this stuff and a um, few more uh, swords we can see here on the sofa and um, they are really nice condition with uh, original hangers and this one uh, has stamps um, has markings for anti-aircraft guns flak so that's why I put uh, color tabs here uh, next from this sword. Uh, next sword is uh, Minty One, and uh, next sword is uh, has uh, missings like uh, this part broken, and uh, there is no wire here. Uh, but we can see here clearly uh, of Clarung subtitle uh, one to seven, well, one to one. Number 70, and we can Google this uh, of Clarung subtitling. It's a really interesting story about it. Several more items we can see here. Uh, also, Prince Eugen. Ah, by the way, this pr Prince Eugen has special type because um, it has bigger uh, scabbard and bigger um, bigger blade. That's very uh, interesting because. Uh, Usually uh, blades and scabbards are the same size, but this one is a little bit uh, bigger and shorter. And here we can see also stamp with uh, a squirrel head over the shoulder. <laughs> uh, and uh, this sword also made uh, from 1941, um, after war started, and it's beautiful beautiful piece i love the swords and uh, one more uh, blue hair type we can see here this one has a regular uh, squirrel from 1936 to uh, 1941 so this one is really good and really nice too I'd like to collect all these swords and sometimes uh, guys ask me to find for them and uh, I'd like to find really nice items in uh, good and uh, best condition uh, just for to buy and never change because of uh, condition, you know uh, what I mean. <laughs> that kind of items um, I would like to buy and I would like to recommend to my uh, customers and uh, guys who ask me to find for them uh, something. So all this stuff I bought uh, last couple of weeks. I told you I researched it a lot of time and uh, appreciate guys who helped me to find all this stuff. So I'm happy to sit here and um, I'm happy to bring it here. Uh, you can see how I uh, travel um, all over the country and uh, this full of stuff uh, BMW came to this house and uh, after uh, unloading I uh, was happy to see all this stuff together you know no no like in boxes or something like that all this stuff together so uh, thank you very much for uh, seeing this video thank you very much for press like and thank you very much for your comments because it uh, makes me more proud myself you know and i would like to film more videos about this stuff and um, i will film extra video about uh, these steins i will um, leave it here and probably about some more items please text me what items you would like more what items you uh, love more um, in this video and uh, it's interesting for me and uh, don't forget to correct me if i say something wrong because it's really uh, help helpful for me uh, when I um, receive feedback from you, my uh, English-speaking viewers. Yeah. So, thank you very much that you saw this video until the end. Thank you very much for your feedback. See you next video and have a good one. Bye.